Hi, I'm Tai Chi, and this episode is about fixing versus throwing stuff away. We live in a, such a disposable society that I don't think we even realize what we're losing by not knowing, not being willing to fix stuff. So I was at this wedding recently and um, the story was told about an older couple who was celebrating their 50th anniversary. And when they were asked what was their secret of making it all those years, the, 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 the old man said, well, we're of the times when we fixed stuff. You know, a broomstick broke, we fixed it. A chair broke, I went and I repaired it. Um, a sock got hole in it, we mended it. And so when our marriage was broken or getting broke, we fixed it. Uh, we didn't just throw it away. So I thought about it. And there's so many things these days that, well, yeah, some of the stuff is just not well made, but there's no people who will fix stuff anymore. Um, I used to love to, you know, um, take my shoes to the cobbler every every uh, year to to resole it. And now, I mean, the shoes are really not worth <laughs> um, most of them, not worth repairing. So, so recently, um, you know, uh, my my uh, we have like I suppose many of you have these garbage disposals, and stuff always gets stuck in there and ground and warped and most of them are my spoons and I don't really have that great of spoons so you know I kind of am guilty of throwing them away because I, I, I didn't but what happened was people would you know I would put them in a drawer and then somebody would take them and kind of like hurt their lips so I figured okay it's really not safe and then um, I have this one silver spoon that was somehow it's the only one left in my drawer and um, it got stuck in a, a garbage disposal. It was all chewed up and terrible. It was sitting on the counter. And my father-in-law uh, was visiting. And at the same time, I like, picked up the spoon and thought, hmm, what to do with this? And then I looked at my father-in-law. And I know he loves to fix stuff. And he's a really, really good craftsman. And so I said, what would you do with this silver spoon? I mean, silver must be worth something. And he said, well, I think I can fix it. And I was a little bit, um, you know, skeptic because it's tiny and how are you going to do that? So anyway, so he did and a few days later he brought it back and it was beautiful. It was shiny and then my husband took footage of it to just show what went into it. And you know what? It went a lot of time and a lot of persistent effort to fix that tiny little spoon. And he polished and filed it and there's such art in it. But I wondered... What if we took time and such effort and such persistency as in, into and, and, and apply it to perhaps something we need to fix deep within our hearts, into, in our souls, or in our society? Do we even know how to do that? And then, you know, sometimes we think we're fixing things, but we're fixing more than just things. There's this beautiful story from a friend of mine, David Zimmer. He's a Catholic priest up in North Dakota. And, um, oh, we just had the best time doing concerts there and visiting with these amazing people up there. So Father Dave is a twin, and he told me the story uh, of his mother who met his father at a dance. And they danced to this beautiful song. They fell in love. They got engaged got married and often they would play the song around then he was called to go off to the war and this song kind of um, kept them close together was a connection after the war he came back and they would play together she would play accordion and he was playing a violin play their song for their children, for their friends, or even sometimes just for the two of them. And then the father passed away, but his mother kept playing the song. When uh, Father Dave visited his mother late in her life, they found the violin up in the attic 
It was broken, it couldn't play anymore. And so Brother Dave decided to um, take it and see if he could get it repaired. And he took it to a postmaster, this postmaster in one of the little towns in North Dakota. And they're little, really little, okay? And, um, uh, and he knew that this postmaster could fix violins. So the postmaster took a violin, and a few days later, um, when the violin was repaired, the postmaster said to Father Dave, well, the violin plays beautifully, and it has such a beautiful sound. Do you want me to demonstrate? Do you want me to play something for you? And he took the violin and struck the strings and started to play that very song. I mean, it was magical. What are the odds that that same song would come to the postmaster? He had no idea of the story. In fixing the violin, the song came alive. And it healed in Father Dave's heart at that, that moment. It healed a huge, a huge memory that came. And this was a song. Smile a while, you kiss me sad at you. When the clouds roll by, I'll come to you. Then the skies will see more blue. Down the lover's lane, my dearie, wedding bells will ring so merrily. Every tear will be a memory, so wait and pray each night for me till we meet again. Wedding bells will ring so merrily, every tear will be a memory, so wait and pray each night for me till we meet again till we meet again so what is one thing this week that you can instead of throwing away fix is it a thing or is it a relationship or is it something you can put time and effort to take care and instead of dispose, keep. Well, leave me a comment about it. And till we meet again, I'm Tai Chi. Thank you. Till we meet again.